Interesting, isn't it? We work our whole lives and we hang out with these people putting on this fake persona, trying to be somebody we're not just to say hi and just to look cool in their eyes, all to then go to the grave because we wanted to fit in with somebody else. We're going to go to the grave saying that we tried our best to fit in with other people. Have you ever felt like the odd one out? Have you ever felt like the odd one in the crowd? Have you ever felt like all your opinions were different than the masses? Well, I'm here to say today that because you feel left out, it doesn't mean that you won't be successful. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because when I was growing up, I always felt like I didn't fit in with anybody. That feeling of loneliness, that feeling of always trying but never succeeding. You know, trying to get the girls, trying to get more friends and never really working. People always seem to kind of be fake and, and flawed in a certain way. You know, kind of isolated, kind of feeling like you were on your own. I know what that feeling's like. And it's weird because we're in this dilemma right now where people who don't fit in with the crowd seem to not think that they're gonna be successful. But I wanted to change your mindset today. I wanted to persuade you and I wanted to tell you that because you don't fit in with the crowd, it's probably your superpower. And the reason I'm saying this is because the people who don't fit in with the crowd are the people who are actually seeing success. Do you really think that Elon Musk fit in with the crowd when he came out with Tesla, when he came out with SpaceX? He was probably looked out and looked upon as a weirdo and I highly doubt that he was one of those guys in school that you would look at and go, yeah, he's a popular guy. Think about it for a sec. All the geniuses in the world. Look at the Wright brothers, for instance. They were so crazy about making the plane. Do you really think that they fit in? Do you really think that they were one of those people you could look at and go, he's popular, he's got the same ideas as everybody else? Don't succumb to the, this idea that because you don't fit in with the crowd, that you won't be successful. I wanted to change your mindset. I was there. I felt like I didn't fit in with the crowd. But what comes with not fitting in the crowd is your own ideas. See, in this day and age, we lack people who have their own ideas. It's very refreshing to see somebody with their own ideas. And especially if you don't fit in with the crowd, there's a highly likely chance that you do not fit in because your opinions are different, that your views of the world are different. You feel like you're called to a higher purpose while there's other people just here kind of walking around. And if you're one of those people what I wanted to say, go down below and hit the subscribe button. Join a community today of people who feel the same way. If you feel isolated, I guarantee you there's a community out there in regards to whatever you like, and this is the community for you. If you feel like you're called to a higher purpose, and as a matter of fact, if you know you're called to a higher purpose, and you want to become successful, and you want to be filled with all these ideas and wisdom, join the Self-Improvement Lab community down below. We're a group of individuals all coming together as a community who are in friendly competition, and when one of us gets better, the rest of us get better. So please, join down below. And to continue on, what I wanted to say is when you have your own opinions, when you can actually formulate your own ideas, it's special because it's something the world's never seen before. People who don't fit in with the crowd have their own opinions. And because they have their own opinions, people don't look at them the same way. They think this guy's a weirdo, this guy's nuts, and I'm sure you've had that face in your life. You've had people tell you you're nuts. But what I wanted to say is your idea is special. The idea that you have in your head for success is special because it's your own idea. People have these ideas of success and it's always copycatting off of somebody else or it's not new, it's not something that the world's ever seen. Interesting, isn't it? And what I wanted to say is those new refreshing ideas that you have, people might not like them at first, but I can guarantee you that within a year, a couple months, whatever it is, when people start to turn onto the idea and it actually makes sense, boy oh boy, it's gonna be game over for them. It was very hard to deal with at times. You know, especially coming from a kid who was overweight, who felt like he was skinny and he should have fit in and he should have had the girls. It was very weird at times. You can change your mindset too. You know, a lot of people believe that they have to fit in with the crowd. A lot of people believe, and I especially believe, that I had to fit in. You know, I had some flaws about me and I knew people knew I had flaws about me. So I felt like I had to disguise the flaws as happiness. In a sense, I always felt like I had to be happy to fit in with the crowd. You know, dealing with nobody being able to understand you can be difficult because if you haven't had that experience in your life, it's challenging because it's the first time you're ever going to go through something like that. You know, But the first time you go through things like that, it's challenging. But what I wanted to submit to you today is that when you go through those times and periods where you feel like you're alone and nobody understands you, you get weathered, you get seasoned. A knife doesn't get forged overnight. A knife gets forged over and over and over. So when I submit to you and say that because you've been experiencing this, because you've been submitted to this pretty much, it means you'll be stronger in the long run. See, people always want to fit in in high school and people always want to fit in in college, university, and even after, even in the workplace. Becoming your own individual means that what happens is, is you've already experienced that. So then when these people who haven't experienced that go to the workplace or go to do this thing that they've come up with this idea that I want to mow lawns, I want to detail cars, they go and do it and they fail because people look at them differently. But because you've had that experience, you're fine with it. You know what's going on. You know what's going to happen and you start to weather. You start to get accustomed to it and you start to get accustomed to the feelings and it no longer bothers you. Having people judge you in a certain way is a superpower because you, you get accustomed to it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, 
by the time you're done high school, by the time you're done university, by the time you leave your workplace, you're not hanging out with any of these people. Interesting, isn't it? We work our whole lives and we hang out with these people putting on this fake persona, trying to be somebody we're not just to say hi and just to look cool in their eyes, all to then go to the grave because we wanted to fit in with somebody else. We're going to go to the grave saying that we tried our best to fit in with other people. Think about it for a second. You're going to die and you're worried about how you look in somebody else's eyes. I worry about it too. Don't lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I don't worry about it. I just worry about it in a different way. It doesn't affect me as much as it does other people. I still worry about what other people think. I mean, come on, I'm putting my face in front of a camera. I got to at least some point think, okay, I'm a personal brand. How can I do this, that, or the other thing? It might seem like you want to fit in with other people. It might seem like that's your only goal. And I've known people, and it's been my goal for the longest time, especially when I was younger. My only goal was to fit in with other people. My only goal was to go to groups of people and try to fit in. You know, wear the jeans that they were wearing, talk the way that they were talking, act the way that they were acting. I wanted to be like them. But over time, I realized that it was all meaningless. <laughs> it, what, did it, what, did, what did it make? Maybe it made a few, a few good friendships, but other than that, it wasn't my true self. And I think if you're being not true to yourself, if you're being quote unquote fake with yourself, you'll come to realize, and I don't think you'll ever be satisfied from trying to fit in. So if you feel like you're out of the loop of things, if you feel like you're out of the crowd, if you feel like you don't fit in, it's a superpower. And I highly suggest you keep on doing what you're doing.